why would you want to get into high temp industrial 3D printing? There's a lot of reasons and we're going to cover a few of them right now. Right off the top of the list is demand. There is such a huge demand coming right now. People, companies are realizing that you can do not only rapid prototyping, but you can also make functional parts. In a lot of cases, parts that are as strong as steel. And so when you can rapid prototype, when you can make functional parts and you can save on the cost and the time that it takes to do other manufacturing processes, like compared to injection molding or compared to CNC, those can be so costly in the time that it takes to learn the machines, the equipment, then to hire and pay for these engineers and operators to come in and run them. If we can teach your average person really quickly on how to use these machines, you're not only saving on labor and time and cost, you're getting more value for the parts in a quicker time. And what that converts to is more profit, guys. So for you that are in the businesses and stuff like that, that you're using this to make money, especially like jigs and fixtures, jigs and fixtures alone, cuts down and saves so much cost and time that it makes total sense to get into this type of manufacturing process. Another good thing that this demand brings is jobs, tons of jobs. Like we have been hiring like crazy here at Vision Miner because we are constantly growing and expanding. 3D print service. 3D print service is creating so many opportunities for jobs and stuff like that. It is literally starting to blow up. You see like 3D hubs and stuff like that that focus usually on the smaller plastics, PLA, stuff like that. But the high temp thermoplastics, they're starting to be in the news. They're starting to be talked about a lot more. But most importantly, the leaders, these aerospace companies, they're starting to use it. They believe in it. They've proven that it works. They've proven that it's here to stay. And that that is creating a hot buzz in the industry that this is not going anywhere. It's only going to go higher from here. The whole thing about 3D printing was that you can, you can make impossible objects. You know, you can make objects that you cannot machine from a block of material. So with 3D printing, I can have a cube that has holes over here and holes over here and then channels that go through this entire object in whatever direction, whatever pathway I want and come out on this side in a very, very specific manner. So we're seeing this a lot in chemicals and, and medical chemicals, extremely, extremely abrasive chemicals. All these plastics are resistant to solvents and chemicals like sulfuric acid. So they can, they can actually now 3D print custom geometries to use for these very specialized applications where before it literally could not be done. 3D printing versus injection molding or CNC machining, Compared to the old methodologies, you used to have to buy a block of peak for you know, $300 and then you'd have to go and machine that part for $800 and wait three or four weeks for it to get back to you. Uh, so you're looking at a $1,200 part and that's not including the design or anything else. So now they can actually come to us and we'll print them the part and if they like it, they can actually integrate that into their business and they can buy a printer and print parts. And we've seen some customers go from $1,200 a part down to about $14 a part. Uh, plus machine time took about two, three hours to print. So they're saving weeks and thousands of dollars uh, right out the gate. It's been a pretty cool experience and there's a lot of specialized businesses that really, really use this stuff, especially in the medical industry for medical devices. They have to be sterilized and autoclavable. So with these high performance polymers, you know, they resist the high temperatures and the chemicals and everything else and they're perfect for the application. There's a lot of different things you can do to the material and prepare it and you can actually implant it or use it in situations where it needs to be absolutely clean and we've just been able to see a lot of special one-off applications for those uh, that we weren't able to see before. Right now I'm covering a lot about high temp industrial thermoplastics and why am I not talking about like ABS, PLA and stuff like that. Guys, the bottom line is those things are cool. They're very, very affordable, but at the end of the day, they're just not functional. To be able to make even prototyping parts. Yeah, if you're looking at prototype and you just wanna check fit and stuff like that, that might work. But if you're trying to do an assembly, like when I was using it and making gimbals, I would 3D print out a PLA. I even tried ABS, but the weight of the parts, it just bend and flex. And so I couldn't really get real results. And I didn't know if that was gonna be ready to send to the CNC machining. So that forced us to get into high temp 
functional materials that now we can print and it works perfect because you know exactly how that part's gonna come out if you need to go and CNC machine it. But what we found in a lot of cases is we can actually print out a peak and stuff like that and we don't even have to go and print it out of metal. There's gonna be more money to be made because you're making quality functional parts that in return can bring in value to the people that need them and that use them. So we're sticking with high temp. That's where we see the industry moving. I see the PLA stuff and all the lower temp stuff. That's falling to the wayside, going towards more of the hobby community and stuff like that. Still cool, still fun, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to business, it comes to making money, I think high temp thermoplastics is where it's gonna be. Another thing that I really like about this is the operating costs. I mean, seriously, the cost of the filaments, everything's coming down. Competition in the industry is heating up. Up until now, it's been uh, giant multi-million dollar machines you had to buy. Uh, you basically start with an organization, make a relationship with this manufacturer, and then get back and forth, and you get your machine, and then it's operators and all this stuff. Uh, but now it's literally a box that'll fit on your desk. Before you'd have to spend 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars to be able to do this and now it's becoming affordable. Affordable machines, affordable materials and to then combine it with open material system or a complete open source system. So this allows the tinkers and the guys who are really pushing this industry forward like it's kind of the wild west right now. We are pioneering the industry and bringing forth what's to come in the future and that's from diving in and having the ability with these open source systems that we can tune and tweak and add different parts and components to make it better, make better enclosures, make better heating elements. It is just growing like wildfire and it's spreading fast. And so when all this comes together and we look and we study the industry, who is actually using it? Guys, you would be impressed to see the companies that are doing this. We're talking billion dollar companies, aerospace companies, leaders in manufacturing that are all diving into and starting to not only experiment, but make this a daily part of their business. So I can see what's coming through here is just a fraction of what's going on in the rest of the world. I think high temp thermoplastics are making a mark, they're making it fast and they're growing, they're here to stay. So guys, I recommend if you're considering getting into thermoplastics, please reach out to us if you have any questions, if you're wondering what machines to get and stuff like that, what build platforms, just reach out to us and we'll help guide you in the right direction. But please do your research, look into high temp thermoplastics, high temp industrial 3D printing, and you'll see that the industry is really starting to get recognized and it's starting to catch fire. So guys, stay tuned, man. We'll keep putting out some more videos like this. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that thumbs up, do whatever, show some love, show some support, and I'll see you at the top. Have a positive day.